Hello, my name is Chris Beer, and I'll be giving the Blacklight Institutional Update for Stanford Libraries. At Stanford, we have a number of different Blacklight applications, including SearchWorks, which is our library catalog, EarthWorks, our Geo Blacklight instance for geospatial items from Stanford and other institutions, Exhibits, which is our spotlight instance at, here at Stanford, and collection-specific sites like the Digital Library of the Middle East, or DLME. Uh, we started the year with a large tranche of work um, around Spotlight, Exhibits, and DLME. In Spotlight, we did a lot of work around improving index progress notification and error logging. We also did some work to add a new bulk updates and actions framework to Spotlight and built out some tooling that allows curators to manage item visibility and exhibit specific tags, both for an arbitrary search result in the exhibits catalog or by using a CSV export feature that allows curators to make changes to specific items across the whole collection in a spreadsheet editor of their choice. I can then go into the spreadsheet, uh, make changes to one or more rows, and then upload the spreadsheet and have Spotlight apply the changes to the exhibit's items. In the Digital Library of the Middle East, we spent some time improving our Arabic search relevancy, uh, as well as, uh, in, when we're in the Arabic locale, displaying Eastern Arabic numerals. We also did some work within Spotlight and the Blacklight Date Range Limit plugin uh, in order to integrate the two. We've also added some functionality within DLME to allow users to make their choice of calendar system and integrate with the more facet modal in order to see this date range slider a little bigger. Like many other institutions, we also did a lot of work in our library catalog in response to the pandemic and a flurry of activity at the beginning of the academic year as students returned to campus um, in order to restore services and remove temporary access like links into the Hadi Trust Emergency Temporary Access Program. We spent some time this summer documenting the display rules for our mark fields in SearchWorks and refactoring the code to make sure our approach was consistent across field types and also between fields and any linked vernacular data they may have. There was also some renewed enthusiasm to improve things like the display of a vendor-provided table of contents. And some work still in progress. Um, here we've been looking at updating search works from Blacklight 6 to Blacklight 7 in a way that doesn't require a major redesign as search works is so heavily customized. Uh, this means trying to stick with Bootstrap 3 as our UI framework of choice for the moment, um, but still allowing us to adopt some of the new features and approaches that are available in Blacklight 7. In addition to our patron-facing Blacklight applications, we also use Blacklight as our management interface for the Stanford Digital Repository. And in order to address some performance issues this year, the infrastructure team has used a neat trick using turbo frames in order to lazy load this, a particular tags facet that has not scaled well with, with increasing data um, and takes a while to load and process. Uh, this, is, this allows us to have a home page that loads fairly quickly uh, while preserving the ability to facet uh, based on these tags just from the home page. Finally, the team here at Stanford said goodbye to longtime Blacklight community members Jack Reed and Jesse Keck, who left Stanford and the library community earlier this year to pursue some new opportunities. We'll miss both their presence and leadership, both at Stanford and within Blacklight. And after what felt like a long slog of phone screen interviews and hiring this summer, uh, we're very happy that Corey Lown and Nick Budak joined us here in October. Thanks for watching this summary of our Blacklight work in 2021, and we're looking forward to our work next year on things like research datasets, an ArcLight implementation, and some work related to our migration to Folio.